If you haven't heard of OPPO before, perhaps it's time to sit up and pay attention. Now, they previously released the very impressive OPPO N1, the company's flagship Android handset which is a 13 megapixel swivel camera and a 5.9 inch display. The Chinese company's latest phone, the Find 7, comes with its own gimmick as well, a 5.5 inch display with a 2560 by 1440 pixel resolution. That's Quad HD, four times as many pixels as you find on a 720p TV, and one of the resolutions referred to as 2 2K. Now, if you actually get this phone, I guarantee you, you will be impressed with how sharp the screen looks, and I really don't think you'll be able to distinguish any individual pixels. Although, not, it's not like you can do that with any full HD smartphones like the HTC One already, for example. Now, it's likely that you will be able to do so on larger displays, but there's no reason for your eyes to be that close to your handset anyways. Now, but back to the screen, the Quad HD screen comes from JDI, not LG, which announced it was making one available for manufacturers as of last year. There appear to be a couple color issues for now, a greenish tint, but the company is adjusting the firmware to calibrate the screen. Build-wise, the handset is made from an aluminum titanium alloy chassis and comes with a carbon fiber rear. While the smartphone is pretty light at 171 grams, the Find 7 corners have a bit of an edge that digs into your palm, palm while you're holding it. Now, the smartphone is powered by Oppo's custom Color OS Android skin, running over 4.3 Jelly Bean, similar to what you'll find on the N1. The UI is clean and cheerful, and it comes with custom features such as gesture controls. The 13 megapixel camera is fast and has enhancements such as super zoom, which lets you take a 50 megapixel picture. What happens is the phone takes multiple shots and combines the four for the big picture, so to speak. There's also GIF capture as well as 4K recording, and other features include fast charging. The phone is actually able to juice out the 3000 mAh battery from 0 to 75% in 30 minutes. And now a 1080p variant called the Find 7A will also be launched alongside the Find 7, but this version will have a slightly slower 2.3GHz quad-core processor and a smaller 2800 battery, and also less onboard storage at only 16GB. Now the Find 7 and Find 7A will be available very very soon globally in mid-April for $599 and $499 respectively. The Find 7 will also be available in China starting tomorrow. Let me know what you think of these two phones in the comments below, please be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time. Bye!